there a lot of hogs out here too? Not in this area? I mean, there are, but they hammer them pretty hard over here. Oh, uh, yeah. Take my We're here in Freer, Texas. Uh, missed my plane ride yesterday, but got here on this beautiful rainy day. Gonna show these guys how it's done. I served uh, seven years in the U.S. Army. I was uh, stationed with the 101st Airborne Division. I've done two tours, one to Iraq and one to Afghanistan as an infantry soldier and a scout. Um, I got injured October 9, 2010 uh, by an improvised explosive device, and uh, now I'm here. I got stationed here in San Antonio after the injury, and. Um, didn't know if I'd be able to shoot a compound bow again after I lost my arm. Uh, linked up with some great Texans uh, here in San Antonio and uh, they got me shooting with a mouth tab. Uh, got me back out there and you know I, I, I got a lot of experience hunting wild boar down here in Texas that gave me the confidence to keep bow hunting today. <laughs> it's actually easier than chewing on a piece of steak. Yeah, it's, it's pretty. Because once my bow gets about right here, it just breaks. And then it's just, I can have a dip in, talk to you, and be full drawn at the same time. <laughs> it's just been like uh, a dream come true. You know, it was like biggest part of my rehab was just being able to shoot a bow again. And I've tried all kinds of different things with prosthetic arms and uh, pop ribs out of my chest trying to pull a bow back. and. Uh, now I'm shooting a, you know, a PSC bow with 70 pound draw weight and uh, uh, making it happen. So like, the way I do it is I have like a, about a one inch mouth tab that's sewn onto my uh, D loop of my, on my bow string, and I bite down with my very back teeth. Instead of drawing 70 pounds, it's a lot more difficult to do that than to push 70 pounds. This segment of Trophy Hunters TV is brought to you by Swagger Bipods, the bipod with moves. So this morning, uh, we decided to change things up a little bit. The rut is really full effect right now. Deer getting pushed all over the place. It's really difficult with the bow right now. So we're gonna switch to a rifle and uh, uh, try to do a little different setup this morning and uh, try to make something happen this morning for sure. Sandhill Green just come crashing in. It's like Wizard of Oz type stuff, you know. And
about that time, we get the word that it's him. Beautiful, he just looked gorgeous down there. You got him, buddy. Oh my God. <sighs> Breathe, take it in. Texas, biggest whitetail I've ever shot my entire life. Couldn't be happier. Uh, learned a lot, you know, after I got injured coming here to Texas. They, you know, mentored me after I got injured and helped me learn how to shoot a bow again. Got me back in the outdoors and uh, coming back, coming back to Texas and shooting a monster like this. It's the biggest buck of my life here in Texas. I couldn't think of a better place to do it. This segment is provided by Big and J, the aroma is super strong, the range is super long. So it was the first morning hunting in South Texas. <clears throat> a little different for me, I haven't, <clears throat> haven't uh, been in this train before, but uh, we saw probably eight to 10 bucks. Um, not, not the two that we're after. Um. Uh, so I served four and a half years in the Marines. Uh, I was assigned to 1st Battalion, 7th Marines. Um, I was there from 2010 to 2013. I got injured in 2012 uh, in Sang in Afghanistan by a command pole IED. With therapy and everything, I had uh, missed most of the first hunting season from when I was back. And then uh, every year after that, it was just like I spent more and more time out and it just kind of spiraled into what I had this hunting season, which was like hunting nonstop from August to today. Oh, he's right by the tree right there. Yeah, right behind it. No. That's not him, is it? No, no, no. He's behind the, see where that, where that truck right there, let's go out. Right there. Okay, you ready? Yep, I'm ready. That's him. God, you should have shot right there. Kind of a scary feeling not knowing what happened there. Well, that's awesome if I got him good, but I, gosh, I hate that when you can't tell how good you hit something. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Busted right back out of the trees, right back to where he was. And then he was still pushing that doe pretty hard and stopped. And it was game over after that. Absolutely amazing. I love the color on his, especially on his bases here. They're down here, little bumps. Just a solid deer, really wide. So a little over a year ago, I was sitting at work at my desk and got a call from my mom and dad. I answered the phone and my dad said, how about we go to Macedonia next year to hunt some mouflon sheep? The plan for this hunt um, was, of course, not only to shoot uh, a mouflon for my sister and I, but also to experience uh, Macedonia as a country um, in and of itself. Um, so, you know, we were fortunate and able to, uh, you know, see the culture, um, see some beautiful parts of the country, and then also um, go to the, to the Greek side, which uh, Greece borders Macedonia. So we were able to travel over there um, and see some amazing sights as well. With two of us hunting, especially sisters, comes the question of, well, who's going to shoot first? We mostly just took it, um, you know, each stock at a time, who was feeling the most comfortable. We worked as sisters during this and just kind of took turns. Uh, right now, we're just stalking, um, spotting, looking for them, uh, hoping that we'll find some animals moving. Uh, right now, the weather's not great, so they're not really moving this morning, so uh, we're going to continue on the road back towards the back side of the property and uh, hope we can find one. Uh, growing up with a dad like Chipper um, is pretty unique. Um, my sister and I are the sons that he always wanted. Um, of course, you know, I do like my shopping and other activities, um, but I am pretty quick to get my hands dirty. Um, you know, I've grown up on a ranch my entire life, so it's pretty natural, um, and I, I'm pretty much in my element in the outdoors. This segment of Trophy Hunters TV is brought to you by Buck Knives, the official knife of the Texas Trophy Hunters Association.
And the second hurdle um, was making sure that uh, Sasha, myself, and the camera guy were all in the same animal and following it. Um, you know, there was a ton of movement and they were going in and out of each other. Uh, he was pretty aggressive at the time. You're not following him, huh? I, I lost him. At this point, my heart was racing. Uh, he got still. I was able to set up right on his shoulder um, and, and take that shot. Ready. He's down. I was like, not again, because I <laughs> aimed below. You think he's down? Yes, we we'll see. <laughs> yes! <laughs> he's dark. Oh, That's his friend. <laughs> they wait for him. Wow. <laughs> dingy, dingy, dingy. Oh, did it. <laughs> Thank you. You were <laughs> Yes. But he had a lot more broken off. This, there was one of these lines that I kept seeing from, oh, right here, this dark spot. I could see this in the scope, and that's how I would tell him. I was like, I don't even know if his camera could, could pick it up, but I kept saying, he's, he has a line on his, on his horn, because <laughs> from the scope, it was pretty dark. It was really cool to see him hit um, ram, yeah, ram another ram. I would have had to like stood up to shoot him and that's how like steep the angle was and man we were we were kind of panicking freaking out because I thought this the one was just standing there like ready and then he was like no it's that one it's the second one down there and so we all got thrown off and then they ran away but luckily, you know, they came back this has been such an amazing experience um, it's not every day that you get the opportunity to hunt with your family um, but, you know, if I get to choose anyone to hunt with, it would be my dad and my sister. Um, so it's been a really special time and, you know, we've made a lot of great memories this trip.